Hello and welcome back to Electric Drive Africa. I am Joey K and a happy new year to all of you. Today we are going to talk about the ice bang. Yes, the internal combustion engine. Some countries have already initiated the process of banning and phasing out the sale of brand new petrol and diesel cars and buses and trucks and all of that. But we scan through the list. This list has been available for a while and some countries have indicated their intention from as far back as 2016. Some of these bans will start in 2025, some of them 2030, some of them in 2040. But Africa is quite silent on this. And we find this quite shocking. In fact, we think Africa should be leading the charge because we import the vehicles and then we have to import the engine oils and the spare parts. And all of that chews up a lot of our foreign currency. If we're to just import or manufacture locally the electric vehicles and then charge from locally generated electricity, we would save a lot of foreign currency, which can be redistributed uh, in, in, in a lot of areas like ed education and healthcare, you know, building schools in the rural areas uh, and hospitals and things like that. And generally improving services and also improving our, our, our trade deficits for some countries that have trade deficits. And so we think Africa should really be leading this charge and, and it has more to benefit from this. Scanning through the list, some of the notable countries there are England, um, France, Norway, and on the cities, Los Angeles, uh, Madrid, and Cape Town. Cape Town is the only one that's from Africa, so as, far as, as far as we've seen, that is actually indicated they want to join this program. But Africa stands to benefit more. And if you look at it, um, there's also another uh, research um, that has been undertaken and analysts have saying 2018 was actually the year of peak ice. Peak ice, it means going forward from now, they expect the sales of internal combustion engine to drop, it, which means the sales, the yearly sales peaked last year. So if you think about it, we, we as Africa should lead the charge. We shouldn't be left behind in this and be stranded with some stranded assets as everybody else moves to electromobility. Uh, one one example I like to use is this: we, we 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 should as the world is moving, for example, in music to the age of iPhone, we shouldn't be stuck making cassette tapes. So we really need to join in and lead this charge as well and save the foreign currency. And also, it's good for the climate and for health. The World Health Organization, you can find the link below, has said that about three point eight million deaths per year could be attributed to ambient uh, outside pollution and. And, and uh, pollution and smog is quite bad in many African cities, for example, in Nairobi. So if we switch to electromobility and clean transportation, the local uh, em emissions are, are reduced quite, 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 quite a lot. And then we also clean up our, our air and then we save money by reduced health care costs, uh, saved from, 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 from those pre unfortunate premature deaths by cleaning up the environment. So yeah, tell us what you think, but we really think Af African cities and countries should be advocating for this and also joining the ice band because we import a hell of a lot of petrol and a hell of diesel, so that all that saving could go somewhere else. Yeah, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, thank you for watching and look forward to having you again next time.